Yo guys, this is your boy Apex. Um, today, uh, welcome to the channel first of all. Today I want to go into you with a quite interesting topic. It's about the relationship between men and women in general. In general, I believe that the assumption from a lot of women is that we have to serve them, we have to adapt our situation to them. The more attractive they are, the more beautiful they are, they expect more in return. Thinking that if you want to be with me, if you want to buy the joy of your life, if you want to be with the joy of your life, you want to find the goal of your life, you have to invest, you have to bring money or you have to put attention, you have to put a lot of stuff on the table. If you want to change this in order to get paid, it's not going to work. So if you want to get paid, you have to grow. I'll, I'll grow them. You need to have something they want. It's not that they want, that they think, oh, you want me because I'm so attractive. You need to have something they want. That we all know, they know we have a dick. The point is, what can you do with it? How good are you in the bedroom? A lot of women, and that's my honest opinion, is almost feels like they're blocking you from growing your dick potential, like they're blocking you from growing your financial potential. And the point is, that I believe that deep inside they feel like it could be a threat in the future. Because if you grow a lot of money, you will become interesting for other women, right? So they want you to spend time with them. If you grow your dick potential, your sex game potential, they know other women will be attracted to you. Because you don't want to know how many women are interested in orgasms. It doesn't mean that they don't talk about it. They're reading all these books about it. How can they get an orgasm? They, want to, they don't want to see it. They want to experience it. We guys, we just we can experience it by seeing it. For women, it's not like that. <laughs> experience is like putting up a whole show, a theater, and all oh, bullshit has to happen. And they don't even know what exactly needs to happen. But in a lot of situations, they tend to tell guys that they know how it should happen. And that's where you go wrong. That's where you learn bullshit and where you learn the bullshit ideas from a woman who doesn't know how she can masturbate and tells you what to do. And you will learn nothing. That's where you go bad and you will lose market value. You will lose attraction. The sex will go bad. And in the end, you're insecure and stuck. And you don't know what to do with this woman because she's not taking any advice from your side. You lose all. You lost all of your control. And you lost all. You lost, just lost all of your influence. If you're in that situation, reset the whole shit. Start again. Start with a fresh woman who has... Uh, who's look, who's looking up to you? Who's impressed by you? So there's kind of a gap. Might be that you are not the mo that you are not too interested in her because she's not physically that attractive to you. But you have to start. You have to make a lot of hours to practice your sex game, and and you need to be in charge. As long as these women are not handing over you to control, you cannot. Let me tell you like this: you cannot be in the, in control then you cannot learn because you need to be in control to take the dance in control. Use the hands, move, twist, now gonna do this, now gonna do that. It's your agenda. You're, 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 you're playing the main role in, in, the, in the movie, right? So they just sit down and enjoy the ride, right? And the roller coaster ride, that's what they want. But they don't trust most of the guys because they fuck up or they're like, I've tried it enough, so I'm gonna try my own plan or... You know, they have their own ideas. They they might give you a couple of times to try it and then they're like, okay, you know, and they're going to do their way. So you need a woman who's going to give you a lot of hours for practice without complaining and even willing to talk about it maybe and ask questions. And, you know, you have to go out of your comfort zone and try all this new stuff and learn from different angles, listen to people and see how you get there. But it's, you don't got a lot of time. I mean, it's like, how many hours in the bathroom did you actually have until now? Let's be real. I mean, it takes a lot of effort to get in the bathroom with a woman and actually start practicing all the time and being focused on that and being in control. But you need to start. This is really important if you want to become a good male companion. Uh, other than that, most women don't actually, they actually don't want to pay for the sex because they pay for the whole thing around it. They will end up in sex. So if the date is like maybe six hours, then it just... One hour in the bathroom to us. But if you're good at it and women know about you, they will pay four hours in the bathroom. I don't know if you're going to keep it up. You don't have to penetrate all the time. But, you know, these women, like I said, it seems like they're more like <laughs> sex addictive than guys. Because they're like, once they get the taste of it, man, it's like they found a new hobby. <laughs> yeah, seriously, they found a new hobby. 
And that's where you can get these additional points and getting your sex, what you want on a level that we had. This is great sex. Delivering it and not getting paid in money all the time, but getting paid in more effort from her side. She's going to adapt more to your situation. She's going to put more effort in you to get sex. She's going to believe you and what you have to do because she don't want to, she don't want to disrupt you delivering the sex. She's just giving you control outside of the bedroom. That's where it's going to change. So you're going to get better relationships. You're going to get better sex on the long term. You have more attraction on women once you have sex with them. Your age will not matter that much anymore because they were like, this is what this guy could do to me and other guys can't. So the focus from all this stuff outside and attention suddenly will turn inside into the bedroom. And that's a crazy thing. So these women will not start looking for all this attention anymore because they found their new drug. They found this specific drug. Like, this is amazing. The point what I told you from the beginning is it's hard to get there because these women try to block you. I'm not saying they're doing it on purpose, but you won't get a lot of practice hours. They have their own agenda. You know, they, they don't want to fuck a lot of women and be the best and taking the lead. They want to be fucked, right? So for them, it's like, okay, I got time or I don't. And most of the time they don't because they got other priorities. There's a lot of guys asking for their attention, you know. And for some women, it's not even guys asking for attention, but they all got their emotional emotions and stuff going. So it's it's not that easy to get there. But I gave you some advice how you could get there. I hope it will help you and assist you through this process in growing. And then uh, if you got any questions about this topic, feel free to uh, to, to ask them below. And then. Um, yeah. Uh, Can you help me make some coffee? Oh yeah, the coffee. I forgot. But yeah, let's I let's make some coffee. <laughs> yeah, I guys, I need to make some coffee. Uh, yeah. So um, 